Hi Cancer, this is Jackie Tallman. This is your general reading. This is for the week of May 16th, 2022. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTallman.com. Be warned of impersonators, particularly out here on social media. Uh, the only legitimate way to get in touch with me or to hear from me is going to be through my website. Okay? So, Cancer, this is your week of May 16th, 2022. Let's see what we have coming up for you guys. Cancer, first card up is the Star Wish Fulfillment. Now, the cool thing about it is you do get a wish granted. There is a wish being fulfilled, but there is a but here. It does also indicate that any delays that occur the week of May 16th are actually to your favor. They're working for you and not against you. Two of Pentacles. You may be juggling a little bit financially, okay? You're out of your comfort zone financially, but let me say this. It's going to be brief and passing because your ship is coming in very quickly. And we have the Page of Pentacles. There's a good business deal coming in, good business offer. For some of you, a Capricorn may resonate. For some of you, it's a job offer, a side hustle, a second job, something like that. But there's definitely something coming into play here. We have the High Priestess reminding you that you guys are grounded, centered. You need to trust your own intuition. Um, some of you trust where you're being led. You know, know where you're being led. Just believe in yourself. Okay. In the center of the reading, we have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups says one thing, Cancer, and you're guilty of this. Overanalyzing and overthinking things. You need to get out of your own head. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles, financial independence. Now, I think this has a past connection to this. This could be inheritance money. This could be a settlement of some sorts. Um, this is some kind of money coming in. It could be a tax return or something. But it's something I feel strongly that you guys already know about. Okay. Then we have the Page of Swords. Happy, carefree, aloof. You may uh, be taking a day trip or just getting away for a day. Okay. A Taurus may or may not resonate as well. We have a major arcana of the world indicating the world is your oyster. And there's something there that you're getting ready to celebrate. And we have judgment. Twofold, Cancer. Do not pass judgment on someone too quickly because you're going to be wrong if you do. But it's also, do not worry about other people and how they're judging you. Let that energy go. This is part of what I'm seeing of you stuck in your head. Okay? So let that energy go. Now let's go a little bit further with these messages. And we're going to start right up top with that star card energy. And Cancer, this is your week of May 16th, 2022. You have the moon. Okay, and the moon is telling you that things have to line up. It's a divine timing card. It means things have to line up and fall into place in order for something, an event to occur. So it's asking you to dig for your patience. That's on the delay card as well. Eight of Swords, the card of self-imposed restrictions. This means no one is holding you back at this time but you. And we have the Six of Cups. Very common in, during the retro energy. Um... This is reconnecting with someone from your past, someone you're delighted to reconnect with, so don't shoot the messenger. If your first thought went to Jackie, I don't want to connect with that person, that's not the person we're talking about. This person you're thrilled to hear from, okay? And I think it's been quite a while since you heard from them. Then on the High Priestess, we have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is stating your new beginning is now, and it is the week of the 16th. The Five of Cups comes in with the King of Cups. Cancer and Cancer. What does this mean? It means you're stubborn. You are um, veering off your path, doing your own thing. This is going on. We're clarifying that you're in your head and you're overanalyzing things. So be mindful of that as you progress through the week. On the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Lover's Card. You guys are going to be strong in love whether you are single or whether you're a couple. On the Page of Swords, we have the Magician. So there's your yes answer, Cancer. 
This is the highest card in the tarot deck. This is your yes answer. This saying you getting everything you want and desire is right there on the table before you. Uh, so to move forward, and there's the two of pentacles again, saying that if you're juggling a little bit financially, it's going to be very brief in passing. And we end with the Ten of Pentacles, the Abundance card. Now, Cancer, not only is this the highest financial card in the deck, this is the card that says you get, um, it's everything. It's family, it's health, wealth. Family, friends, it's everything. So it's your abundance. You will get your abundance. But you've uh, got to let go of that kind of pessimist attitude you got going on there with overthinking. Your bonus card for the center of the reading, exactly what I just said. Let this energy go. Wait and watch things unfold. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen very quickly. So, Cancer, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a psychic reading. You have a great week ahead. Don't forget to check out your weekend video as well as your dailies. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.